Sam here from Sheridan Computers. In my last video, I've shown how to back up the operating system that comes pre-installed on a Ugreen NAS. Specifically, I was using the DXP4800+. Plus. A lot of videos show taking the drive out and swapping it with another drive as a way of preserving the operating system, which seems like a lot of hard work to me. So I used Clonezilla and created an image of the existing drive, but what I didn't do was try and restore it. So how do you know if it works? Are you just going to take my word for it? A backup isn't a backup unless it's tested. So in this video, we're going to restore that backup and see if we can get our Ugreen NAS back to its factory state. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. This is my Ugreen NAS, and as you can see, it has TrueNAS Scale installed on it. So let's try and restore the original UGOS operating system. I'm going to reboot this, and then keep pressing Control and F12. Okay. Let's boot off Clonzilla. I'm just going to go with the usual options. Uh, start Clonzilla. As previously, we want device to image because we want to work with uh, images. Use the local device. I'm just going to scan for the hard drives. Control C to exit. So now we need to mount a device to use as where, well, basically where the uh, images are. So at my Seagate, we can skip the FS check in this in this case. So now we can see on the root of this drive. UGOS image that we created on the previous video. So, uh, don't need to synchronize time. Beginner mode's fine. This time we want to restore an image to a local disk. Select the image that you want to restore. And then where we want to restore it to. So this original 120 gig drive that's fitted, this is the one that we want to restore to. And we're going to use the uh, partition table from the image. I'm not going to check it because I checked it last time. I'm not bothered about log files. Then we'll choose what it does when it's finished. So are you want to show you want to proceed? Yep. Yep. So now it's going to start restoring the partition tables from our image and the uh, individual partition images. Okay, we're all finished. So now let's reboot and I'll remove the media. And now we should be back in. So let me switch over to a web browser real quick. I hope this works. I look like a bit of an idiot after already releasing the last video. I can never remember this web address. So you green find us. So it's just find ugnas.com. So as you can see, our NAS is now there and we're ready to continue as if we'd just purchased the device. An important thing to remember, and I can't remember if I touched on it in the previous video on backing the Ugreen NAS up, you need to remember to disable the watchdog timer in the BIOS because if it doesn't detect the UGOS running, it will reboot. So you're going to end up getting reboots in the middle of your backup or restore. Or if you're not going to be using the UGOS, just make sure that watchdog timer is disabled. Ugreen is fairly new to the NAS market. So I imagine a few people are going to have questions on how to preserve the existing operating system should you want to try something else so you can restore it later. If you did find this video useful, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more Ugreen NAS videos. In the next video, we're probably going to look at installing TrueNAS on the Ugreen NAS. If you'd like to hire us for any consulting, head over to SheridanComputers.com. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.